Welcome to Pack It, the packaging recycling design challenge where two designers will go head to head to solve real world problems with paper packaging solutions. I hope you're ready. The winner will walk away with $5,000. Big money, right? I'm your host, Cassie Stevens. As an artist and an art teacher, I know the importance of using sustainable materials firsthand. I can't wait to see what earth-friendly packaging our contestants will be creating. Let's meet the designers who will be competing to create an all-new produce subscription box. I'm Zachary Weston, and I study packaging systems and design. I have a passion for sustainability and the user experience. I'm always trying to build my portfolio and develop my skills as a designer. My name is Emma Dayton. I am a student studying packaging engineering. My whole passion is innovation, design, and sustainability for packaging. Hey. Emma and Zachary, welcome to Pack It. Happy to be here. Today, you'll be reimagining the produce delivery box. We'll need to keep a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables organized and safe from damage. We'll be testing the durability of your designs with the final drop challenge. The drop challenge. The winner today will receive $5,000 as well as bragging rights forever. You have the next 10 hours to create your prototypes. As you build your packaging, you'll need to focus on recyclability, innovation, and product safety. On your mark, get ready and go! I've worked with these materials before, but the time limit's gonna make it difficult. This. It's like a kid in the candy store, pulling X-Acto knives, the box cut out. And trying to improvise all this on the go. It's not gonna be easy. You got any ideas yet, Zach? Oh, plenty. Plenty? <laughs> well, hello there. This is like a hot mess over here. What is going on? Welcome to my world. So this is my insert for the box that's going to store both the lettuce and the pineapple, all part of one sheet. And it creates a lock for the pineapple, so it won't be able to move vertically either. So it won't crush anything else that's in the box. That's okay. the plan. OK. <laughs> I'm going to go check on Emma. What's Cassie. happening over here? I wanted to do this like cute little cut for like berries and stuff, but it's just not panning out. And we're not even touching the cilantro yet or the lettuce yet. Not there yet, unfortunately. You'll get there. We're, we're going to just like keep on trucking. Here we are. Uneven. We'll call it organic. You good over there? <laughs> hey, designers. I thought I would introduce you to our guest judge, Rain Rawada of Miami Fruit. Hey, guys. At Miami Fruit, we deliver tropical fruit all over the country. We do this with sustainable packaging. I'm really excited to see what you come up with today and to help you guys out with your designs. OK, Zach, you're up. Welcome to my laboratory. The idea here is going to be that our box will unfold like this. You may notice as well that we have these clever folds here, which ensure that there's nice, colorful corgi on both sides, but also creates a strong double wall. So nothing should be able to crush this box, mm -hmm. at least not from the top. Yeah, double wall is, is essential. I think uh, the size and shape of the box could be limiting. The ventilation also is, is great internally, but what about outside of the box in the ambient temperature? You can definitely tell that he knows a lot about his fruit. Hey, Emma. How's it going over here? It's going pretty good, a little slow. Here's kind of the idea for the master box. It's going to be some sort of shelving, and then it's going to fold up all into one box. These trays are going to go into each shelving unit, and it's drawn out right here, but it is just not fully constructed <laughs> yet. Do you have any concerns about that? Well, we'll see. I like this shelving idea. You're starting inside and working your way out, and Zach's starting on the outside and working his way in. This will be interesting to see how this plays out. You have a lot to do, so we'll let you get back to work. Thank you guys so much. I need to really kick in the high gear. I need it like in practice right now. 
We just don't got time to calibrate. Got to keep working with it. All right, designers, just two minutes left. Get a little tight in here. Some time to shine. Five, four, three, oh God. two, and one. Step away from the boxes and put your hands up. Let's go over to the judge. All right, today you are tasked with creating recyclable packaging to safely transport delicate produce across the country. Now it's time to present your prototypes to our judge. He will decide who will leave with $5,000. However, both of you win the satisfaction of having created something functional and sustainable. Emma, show us your design. So my approach was really putting the people and the food front and center. You will see in here, there is some paper to protect and cup it within a slot that it is held in. Up here for our small and delicate fruits, we have mini packaging for it. And for the cilantro here, we have this paper envelope to keep it displayed, keep it together, not shifting in the package. One concern comes to mind is the single wall cardboard. You have two layers of it, but it's still a lot of produce and a, quite a big box. But that being said, the produce seems to be nestled very tightly and doesn't have a lot of bouncing room. Thank you, Emma. Now we're going to hear from Zachary. For my design, I wanted to focus a lot on structure and efficiency, but also the user experience. So when they open up the box, I want it to be transported to another world. So as it opens up, you're immediately greeted by this sort of tropical arrangement. I actually made little cabana chairs as a divider for the dragon fruit. For the raspberries, I encased them in white SBS box here. They're encased so they can still get ventilation. You can see them, but they won't fall out. And then we have the zucchinis individually bundled, providing horizontal strength for them so they can't get smushed. I love the double wall cardboard. I don't know, I have a thing for double wall cardboard. But moisture and heat can't escape the box, which could be a problem, especially in the summer months. I completely forgot about breathability. All right, we are about to go into the drop test. Pick up your box, hold it straight out shoulder height in front of you. Here we go. One. Two, three. Oh. Okay, go ahead and pick up those boxes and let's see what we get. All right, let's see what's under the hood. Okay. Nothing broke, <laughs> I don't think. Oh, I hold up. Oh, well. Yeah, they're going to a happier beach. <laughs> The raspberries actually turned out pretty great. I don't know if that's a new thing or not, but <laughs> lettuce. And now we're gonna take a look at Emma's box. We open the sleeve back up. We have the raspberries in the paper container here. We can see a little shelf damage right there. Here's the pineapple and the zucchinis. Thank you so much, guys. I know that Rain here has a lot of considering to do, so we're gonna let you take a beat. You have earned it. <laughs> what is crazy? So, what do you think? I love the aesthetic, and I love that when you open it up, it's all accessible. One of the things to consider is how many different types of material you use and how much labor it's going to be to assemble the box. There's work to be done, but it's a beautiful box. It's another cool design, very innovative. It's just an overall less parts and less things to go wrong. But with that being said, less protection. As a prototype, both boxes are amazing and they have a lot of potential. So do you think you've made your decision? Yes, I have. Let's bring them back in. Welcome back, designers. We're impressed with the thoughtful, innovative, and eco-friendly packaging you've presented today. Rain. Whose produce subscription box wins today? Well, you both did a great job creating something sustainable. This was a super close decision, 
but overall, the winning box protected the fruit slightly more and had a slightly better customer experience in my mind. So, today's winner is Emma. Thank you guys so much. Designing through a sustainable lens has been the forefront of my career and my passion going into packaging. And with this, it's just another step towards that. Thank you guys so much. The fact that Zachary and I are gonna both be in the same industry together, that's so exciting. We're kind of like a force to be reckoned with, the new class. We'd like to thank our amazing contestants and our expert judge for being a part of today's challenge. The next time you open a perfectly designed and sustainable paper package, remember the innovation that goes into creating each one. And of course, don't forget to recycle.